to uh, Motel Hot Tub. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Today we're going to be talking about high fashion. Um, I'm high so, as hell. <laughs> not I'm that high. kind of high, sir. Um, I'm the guy that uh, I'm the guy that spends my whole paycheck on uh, one white T-shirt. <laughs> I'm Jake, <laughs> and I'm Justin. And yeah, today we have a presentation for you about high fashion. I have some special stuff in the presentation, so Jake, if you wouldn't mind coming over oh, and yeah. looking through it, <laughs> it's gonna be an experience. I got yeah, it. I can't wait for this one. I got it. <laughs> oh. uh, Jake, you, you gotta, you gotta read that off. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can. Would you mind reading off the uh, stuff in the presentation? High fashion. You want this? You want this? You want this? Buy this? You want this? Buy now. The br <laughs> this brand is something you want. This brand is something you want. This brand is something you need. This brand is something you want. I only buy polo tees. Hot fashion, hot fashion, hot yeah. fashion, hot fashion. <laughs> so I, I don't want to do this for the whole podcast. There's a lot of repeating text, but um, <laughs> yeah, everyone knows that hot fashion is a little bit psychotic. Um, obviously, you know, for whatever reason, people do indeed pay a lot of money for it, and I myself do like clothes that look nice. But there is a certain type of high fashion that's just uh, kind of insane. Um, some of it does look cool too, though. Um, so yeah, we just want—I wanted to go uh, through some funny stuff and then just kind of take a look at some different high fashion today on this episode. We're going through this, dude. All yeah. right, slide one. Click. What is your favorite blank brand? Presentation is. What is his bottom text, Kyle? Read it, dude. Can you read it? <laughs> this presentation is. Pretentious. Pretentious. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be real. What is this garbage, dude? <laughs> Top 10 fashion companies. <laughs> companies by revenue. Alright, so this is just a list of the top 10 ta fashion companies by revenue. You might need to, um, I guess it works. It's like the schizophrenia podcast. Ten yeah. largest fashion companies. So this isn't necessarily high fashion, but I just thought it'd be interesting to take a look at what companies are making the most money with clothes. Number so, one, Nike. Nike. Nike yep. Not really much of a surprise they're, there. They're Beaverton. <laughs> Beaverton. Don't That's spend too mean. much time on this. Let's scroll through them quick right, and right, see what's right, on right. Number two, Gucci. So Gucci almost makes as much as Nike, and they make more than Adidas, which is pretty crazy when you think about it, considering how Adidas is everywhere, but mm -hmm. Gucci's still making more money than them. Gucci's for people who can't afford Gucci. Adidas, out of hot... Say that right now as loud as you can. Adidas, out of... Yep. You got first try. <laughs> Sounds dude. right. Louis Vuitton, dude. I just hear rap lyrics right now. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> Card dude, it's just rap lyrics on here. I don't know what this means. Yeah, just a bunch of brand billion. names. Zara, what what's Zara? I've never heard of that one. I don't. I think it's more. It's I mean, fast we, fashion, so it's more so. It's kind, like of, it's kind of like a Shein or something. It's like it's like cheaper kind of like huh. clothes that go that kind of wear out fast. You maybe wear them a few times. Oh, gotcha. Uh, so it's fast fashion clothing. This brand is known for taking high end fashion and creating similar, more affordable prices. Okay. H M. I like H M. I guess I like t-shirts. Jake, try to hold it, hold the laptop in your lap so that oh, okay. you're talking towards the microphone. Wanna, I didn't want to mess up the cords. No, you're good. Okay. Only women's clothing, huh? Okay. <laughs> Messed up. <laughs> Chanel. Chanel. Boring. Kyle, say that out loud. Oh, what is that? Uniqlo. Uniqlo. Uh huh. Hermes. Hermes. This bag Hermes. This bag Hermes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chris Col Colmar, for this article. Chris Thank Colin. you. Everybody give him a clap. One, two, three. Good job, Chris. Okay. <laughs> Good job, Chris. All right, back to the presentation. Back to what the people want. All right, what do I do next? <laughs> what is this madness, dude? What do you make? <laughs> click, click the arrows. Click the, like the, Where are the arrows? On the bottom right of the keyboard. Oh, okay. Go, go back one first. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is the next slide. Yeah, so this is a, this is a, a fashion runway. This is on the next slide. Um, the one we were just looking at a second ago. One, two, three, go. <laughs> <laughs> this is Tom Thor, Th Th uh, Tom Brown Fall 2012. I guess this is like a whole uh, fashion show. And like a lot of different fashion shows, it really is just like a big like art project basically where they have all these like different concept designs. Mm -hmm. and this is one I saw on Instagram on some page I followed that I thought was particularly funny. <laughs> this was like pretty a, funny. <laughs> <laughs> the the first one he looks like a, like a rugby player almost. It's or like something. a dystopian Batman <laughs> future, like a Batman villain from like the future. Dude. The second one looks like he kind of like could be the Joker or the Riddler or something. <laughs> yeah, the Swaggler. 
<laughs> Next. Ooh. <laughs> Which one's the hardest? <laughs> I'd say the right. That's yeah, the, the, the one on the right, number three. Bro, he's yeah, got a briefcase. The hardest, what do you think's in there? Well, what's in that briefcase? Well, we gotta we gotta rate the one before this too. Okay. So we're picking right for this. The middle. Yeah, that's the middle. Uh, I don't know. Right's kind of hard. Yeah, the, the, the right, uh, the right does like go hard. It's like, he looks like Gru from Despicable Me. <laughs> it looks like he has like like football shoulder pads on underneath his like jacket. <laughs> He's a linebacker. He's a linebacker. <laughs> I'd say for sure. Oh, the middle one. The middle one goes hard. I think the sweater for I the know, middle. I like the right. Dude. The right <laughs> one's the best. Really brings, brings together. <laughs> but what's in his briefcase? I, I like the hat on the left. Gold tip socks. He's got like a it looks like a basset hound hat. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. I like yeah. that. That's kind of cool. That? He's got the same socks as in the left as the middle. Oh, yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, that's why they're both bad. I would never, ever wear the same thing twice in my entire <laughs> life. Yeah, I would never rewear clothes ever. I'd throw everything in the garbage <laughs> the second I, second I take it off for the day. <laughs> all right, who's ready for... Are these different people? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, they, I think they, it's all the same guy, all right? this, They I all look the same. People. I'm pretty sure there's even another slide of these guys. Huh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I like the middle stuff. The, the one on the left is hilarious. Which who, who wore it best? I think the middle looks like he's gonna <laughs> bite my nose off. The one in the middle is definitely the most intense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the guy on the right. I, I like the, too goofy. the the one on the left has like unnecessary, uh, like unnecessarily bulging arms. He looks like a pin, <laughs> he looks like a pinhead dude. <laughs> it does. I think one in the middle looks like the most stylish, but the one on the left looks the weirdest. Uh, mm-hmm. He's holding just like a bandana. <laughs> All right. This brand is something you need. You want this. 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 You want. Okay, next. Don't dress <laughs> like this. This is demonic. Also, chance might be. Are they? So if you go back to like the previous slides, where it's just like the same thing over and over again, kind of like a chant almost, <clears throat> right? So our, my my question to you guys is: Are chance demonic? Like just saying the same thing over and over again in like a robotic monotone voice. What about saying ice cream over and over again? Is that demonic? <laughs> yeah, it's almost like, you know, I don't know, just like repetition and like... <clears throat> but people say prayers and repetition all the time, like Hail Marys. That's true. Huh. Um, yeah, that's a good point. I guess it depends on the context for chance, but I think that, that these uh, these guys definitely look a little bit funky. I think they're goofy looking, dude. Some goofy goobers. <laughs> Some dummies. Don't dress in things that are quote unquote dark not as in the shade this is this, this I don't even remember what this, this is meant. demonic Were you, what, are you, what drugs are you on you wrote this man <laughs> <laughs> also chance might be are they you just wrote the same thing twice dude bro didn't take his meds and then made the slide <laughs> <laughs> alright so you have to click uh, you have to click off and go to like the uh, click click escape okay um, <laughs> This is puzzle. Yeah, you made it like a puzzle, man. <laughs> so you highlight the. Sl- you just read it to figure it out. Map legend highlight slide with box tool. Click multiple sub box. You picked the most. Te- I'm I'm technologically di- disabled. Dude. I don't know what it is. It says highlight the slide with the box tool. What is the box tool? Oh, where is it? No, 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 it's not on the top. You just, mm. Like you drag and make a box. Mm. No, not like that. Like you highlight the whole slide with it. Like, to dra- drag a box across the whole slide. See, so like, go up to the corner. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Hold on, did you do it on the whole slide? Okay. <laughs> Something hiding in here. Okay, there's a, there's <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of hidden messages. They gotta move. Oh, what's going on? Yeah, click them one at a time and sort through them. Okay. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> so just, like, click it a bunch of times to highlight what's in it. This is fun, man. That's a good slot. This is a good presentation, dude. <laughs> <laughs> fashion. fashion. Okay. Uh, click it a bunch of times to highlight all the text. I just saw a question mark. Like, it's click like the same spot a bunch of times. Thing. Oh, what do we have over there? See, see if you can like uh, um, highlight it with the cursor. Worst thing. <laughs> <laughs> click it a bunch of times. You have to highlight the whole thing, dude, not just a little bit. How do you highlight the whole thing? You do it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, now what do I do? I click. Just, you, want, you want to give it a shot? You... Okay, so he doesn't like... want to give it a shot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here, I'll, I'll take over for a second. 
How did this presentation make you feel so far? Disabled. <laughs> so the presentation itself is kind of like a a metaphor for uh, how high fashion is, right? It's very um. Oh. Secretive. <laughs> it's very secretive. Okay, what's the worst thing about the high fashion and what, what's the worst thing about high fashion and streetwear? Um. You want to switch back? Yeah, I'll switch back. <laughs> You want to have a perspective? Fashion Week? Yes. Julia Fox. Julia Fox is the worst thing about high fashion and streetwear? Yeah. Why is that? Look her up. Well, why is she the worst thing? Look up Julia Fox streetwear. Are you just saying she's badly dressed? Just look. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> What's uh? What's I don't know about that. What's Tesla's wife's name? That's that's Tesla? weird too. Yeah, that's X Y. This this one, I don't like this one at all. Grimes. Yeah, what's oh. look up Grimes streetwear. Wait, what are you doing, Pete? I'm trying to find my phone. <laughs> all right, Grimes streetwear. Whoa, just look up Grimes fashion. <clears throat> this is pretty rough. I don't know about this. Or the image. She has one where she's like dressed as like a Power Ranger. Okay, so the worst thing is uh, Julia Fox and Grimes. What she got in here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm making myself mad, dude. For putting this presentation together. <laughs> is there any way you can change like the background of the presentation? Yeah, I'm oh, there we go. What's the best thing about streetwear and, and high fashion? That's for the streets. I don't know. I don't really like partake in any of that. Um. But um, I'm sure it's like a like a way for people to express yeah. themselves. I think the times when like it looks cool, you know, mm. it's uh, it's it's like the best thing about it. I'd say. Yeah. Okay, let's continue on past that slide. You want me to keep going? <laughs> you want me? To, you want to trade spots again? Um, <clears throat> I, mean, I can. I can. Okay. I can he's got this, dude. I he's got it. it. Okay, I mean, he's, he's, he's the architect. Dog. He's the architect. <laughs> it's a new it's the builder. It's the builder. <laughs> new word alert. Stockist. <laughs> um, new word alert. <laughs> new word alert. <laughs> It's so, like the, the, the word of the week. The wordler. <laughs> the Batman villain. The do- he's the wordler. I have a word for you, Batman. <laughs> okay, so a stockist. Check out the definition. What is a woman, Batman? <laughs> oh, sorry. A commercial retail or wholesaler that stocks merchandise. A retail or distributor who stocks a certain type of item for sale, okay? Okay, so it's like a curator, right? Yes. Um, you can read right here. Uh, Canada's Haven has perfected the art of brand curation. Its stockist stand standouts include and every list of brands. So the point is that like uh, it's a it's a it's a spot where you can only get like like certain brands, mm. right? They're curating like we have this like specific type of like taste, and we're gonna like curate um, um, stuff that fits within that, mm. right? Yeah. So this. Um, Haven is is a uh, a, a stockist. Uh-huh. And, and uh, just send yeah. me to the North Face outlet. Hey, send me to <laughs> send me to Farm and Food. Dude. <laughs> so we're gonna take a quick look at their. Point site. me to the closest North Face outlet. <laughs> what do we got here? All right, so we're taking a look at some clothes on uh, on this website. You want you want to look at some of them, Peyton? How do you feel about this? Uh, how do you feel about this seven hundred dollar jacket? I like it. You like it? Yeah. Is it worth seven hundred dollars? Depends how much money you make. Depends if some if you make more money, it's it makes it worth it. Yeah. <laughs> that cat looks very snug. He does look very <laughs> snug. Cat looks snug. <laughs> Jet looks snug, dude. <laughs> His hats are. I like that hat. Yeah, that's a nice hat. It's like like the kind of like trapper hat style. Yeah. The beacon cap. <laughs> you get that same thing at Kohl's for like nineteen ninety nine. No need to spend one hundred fifty on it. Anything you guys want to click on? Uh, I like the the Gore Tex uh, like neck covers that are up through the the wind stoppers. These ones right here. Oh yeah. I'm gonna take a look at why it's worth $135. Yeah, let's, let's check it out. I, I have some like that that I bought for, um, you know, probably about like $20. Alpine Neck Gator. 
Our Alpine neck gaiters built using advanced Gore-Tex Infinium Gore Windstopper, a fabric suitable for all climates, providing complete <coughs> windproof protection while being water resistant and extremely breathable. The three layer fabric is comprised of a stretching soft nylon. Okay. Yeah, I go to, I go to Starbucks and intimidate everyone with my gator on. <laughs> I mean, they, 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 just, they, just, they just sold it to me right there. I'll take 20. Would this guy intimidate you at Starbucks? <laughs> yeah, I gotta take my gator down to order my Starbucks. <laughs> Would you feel comfortable ordering a pumpkin spice latte from him? He's so ambiguous, dude. He looks like a, like a, like a, you know, like how the preset video game characters, he's like the fifth one, you know? <laughs> Is he wearing this? Yeah, maybe. And he, he looks like a, like a preset character in like, uh, like one of those, uh, like old snowboarding games. Like what was it called, like SSX or something? Oh yeah. Why are you hiding your neck? Street? What's wrong with your neck? Why you gotta hide it? <laughs> What's, what is wrong with his neck? Yeah. I got so my he, neck. he was like horribly disfigured. I can't be letting anyone see my neck, dude. <laughs> right, let's go look at like one more product and move on to the next one. Shop the collection. Shop the collection. So far, we've only seen like the like the fall and winter stuff. I'm still confused. I mean, it is fall. <laughs> You're confused by what? I don't know, this slide, this presentation. <laughs> These are some pretty expensive yeah, I'm goods. I'm hoping the second half of this picks up a little bit. Does any, do any have you, any of you ever owned fingerless gloves? Um, no, I haven't. I've had a pair. I never wore them, though. Who used to have... I think Noah maybe used to have fingerless gloves. So why is this... Uh, why do you think this uh, flannel is $327? Uh, it's made of I guess don it's let's made find of out. Donkey hair. Our <laughs> Woodland Zip Flannel modernizes the utilitarian work shirt and applies premium fabrication and detailing. Inspired by our signature Haven Hex logo. Where's the logo? It's, it's inspired by the logo. Oh, it's inspired. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Which I guess is probably right here. So somehow they got from this they got this shirt. Makes sense, I uh, guess. Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> we've created a custom six by six stripe yarn dyed plaid crafting for the soft, insulated, and breathable cotton and merino wool blend. I don't even know what that means. We opted for the YKK something zip enclosure. Versatile piece that can be used as an overshirt or layered under a coat in colder weather. Hmm. How does this guy make you feel? Oops. Oh, where'd he go? How about instead of creating... <laughs> he just disappeared, dude. <laughs> where is he, dude? <laughs> How about instead of creating a shirt based off your logo, you create a sleeping bag that gives you a massage when you sleep? That sounds kind of cool. That would be, that'd that'd be that'd cool. That'd be, that'd be like some high-end uh, some high -end stuff. I'd invest in that. See, that's why you need to be giving me money. <laughs> okay, um... So, this is another stockist. And this is uh, HBX. Established in 2012, HBX is a global e-commerce platform and retail destination carrying over 250 curated brands for both established and up-and-coming menswear, women's wear, and lifestyle labels. HBX focuses on delivering the latest trend-setting fashion accessories, footwear, home and lifestyle goods to its customers, curating a truly global and exciting assortment at the leading edge of culture. All these tallest talk about culture. I hate when they say, this is the culture, bro. It's a culture, dude. It's a culture thing, man. I've right, never so even heard of it. HBX. <clears throat> uh, yeah. That shirt's pretty cool looking. It's all right. But you want to take a look? You want to take a look at this? It looks like a guy who just, who, who Google tattoos getting a tattoo. <laughs> Google tattoos well, on the actually, way to the tattoo I kind of like that tiger. What do you want? What do you want to click? Well, that tiger shirt on the right's cool. Like that tiger tiger right there. What's on the? What's the tiger fighting? And the one, the the Waco Maria Tim Le Hawaiian shirt. This is a four hundred and eighty dollars shirt. That's pretty cool. What's I mean, made the of? tiger fighting a dragon. It's probably made is of like tiger skin. It, is it the material that makes it cost? A lot? I think it's the the brand name that makes it cost a lot. Where do you see what it's made of? Why does this dude stance so weird? I don't know. He looks really odd. Look at his shoes. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that, that. I mean, the the shirt's cool, but the the rest of the fits kind of. Bro went to journey. Kind of bogus. Shoes. Where's like the description of it? Oh, product, product details. It's a size small. Ryan. Wacko. What is Maria. Ryan? Rayon. Yeah, Kyle, you should Google it. How much Where? Rayon? Rayon. That's what the material of the shirt is. I just want to like figure out if it's like an expensive material. Where does it say that? Oh, right like uh, material, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh, hundred percent round. What well, What does that even mean? It's a guy named Ryan's hair. <laughs> Rayon material. What is Ryan? Rayon is a semi-synthetic fiber made from natural sources of regenerated cellulose, such as wood, related 
agricultural products. It has the same molecular structure as cellulose, but also viscose. Many types of grades of, I don't know, it kind of lost me a little bit. Yeah. Bro, it's made of cellulose. Is it expensive? <sighs> apparently, if it's they're like selling $500 shirts. Yard. Apparently yeah. not. <laughs> yeah, apparently not. <laughs> Jeez. Dang, right, so, now I'm I mean, impressed with the shirt. See, it's, it's 100% the brand name then, right? I mean, they have like this cool print on it, I guess. It is it's a very like, cool it's print. It's not like a robot isn't just making that, right? <laughs> but, like the print? Like, yeah. Do you think it's like AI art? Do you think a dude's like hand stitching that? Like every seam? No. Well, I mean, like someone had to like draw it originally, right? And then like they printed it on the shirt. Yeah. I guess, yeah. Cubes for sale? Cook on the cubes. Oh, Incense dude, we gotta get a cube. We gotta get a hundred dollar cube for the podcast, man. You gotta write this out of the business. It's <laughs> oh, cube. What, what's, what's it made of? Yeah, what's the material? Zinc, zinc alloy. alloy. Google's, That's not even Google nah. zinc alloy. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you really expect me to pay a hundred dollars for a zinc alloy cube? Mm. Let's see how much this zinc alloy is, dude. Kind of current levels are at how much is this for like a pound yeah, I don't know one kilogram of zinc two dollars <laughs> <laughs> what is garbage dude <laughs> where do you even get zinc from I don't know alright anyways back to this uh, we looked at this website zinc sickening me we should start mining zinc the next one is uh, Supply. Supply is considered an OG in the streetwear culture, having first established itself as a physical store in Sydney in 2002. The retailer opened an online space in 2012 and has since continued to roll up products from a selection of the most sought-after brands, carrying sought-after brand, carrying Visvim Vans, Pal Skateboards, Angelos, something, something. Well, I've, I've heard of Vans and Palos. Supply? Supply? Yeah, when you go to the van store and just look at stuff, you go to the Zoomies and buy stickers. <laughs> Zoomies does have some very good stickers. Yeah, Zoomies do have good stickers. They, they have the good selection. I'm a sticker guy. That's a, what Supply. do we got here? I don't like this website. It's set up. <clears throat> look at the palace section. So I think this is more so like stuff that's like one-off <clears throat> things where they have like one of that them in stock. That board's pretty cool. The you one where it like said like Bulldog deck. Which one's the coolest one? Kyle, scroll back up. That one right there with the uh, like the little this little one? bulldog and a soccer ball. That's cool. I that like one's kind of cool. Looking. The with beer is what's what's he smoking? A bulldog playing <laughs> soccer. He's, he's smoking, what is drinking. Goofy guy smoking. He's smoking, drinking, and playing soccer. It sounds like a good day to me. <laughs> this is basically just a Christmas list. This whole this whole episode. <laughs> Four forty dollars for some socks. That's ain't no gold tips, dude. Yeah, that's ain't no gold toes. Dude, I, I, I need a $120 t-shirt right now, or else I might die. You go to the Patreon, and you can buy Justin a, a $120 t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any of them will do. It's not about the style. It's about how much it costs. Yeah, after this episode, we're going to have a wish list of all the items we looked at. <laughs> I want a, a, a second PS5 for Jake is on that list. <laughs> yeah, I want two PS5s. I want a, I want a second mortgage. Whoa. So why is this shirt $140? Kyle, th this looks like one of those geometric shirts you used to wear uh, from Kohl's, like back in the day. You yeah. saying it's a Kohl's shirt? It, it, it kind of looks like it could tell be like a Kohl's that's design. This, that it it's looks a like a Kohl's shirt. shirt. They're gonna be like, no, dude, you know how much I spent on this, man? This is <laughs> like this is one hundred and fifty dollars, dude. Like, supply, dude. I bought this is, <laughs> <laughs> do you know how much I spent on this shirt, dude? This is not cool. <laughs> it's not Kohl's, bro. Not cool. I buy these clothes because they're better quality. Yes, no, A, B, reasonable, or no. Reason no. no. No, it's Go just about Walmart, the brand. dummy. <laughs> Get a graphic tee of Garfield and just wear it all day. <laughs> People would say that that's worse quality fabric. How about you? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Does it you got to pull up to the club in an N64 graphic tee. N64 graphic tee. I'm gonna wear you can get one at Target. So you don't think this is a reasonable argument for for buying high fashion? No, I kind of want to no, start wearing I mean, mail. It, it's just overpriced. Just like way too overpriced. It's definitely about the brand. I, I think the the quality is typically better than like your everyday T-shirt, but uh, it's not worth five hundred dollars. You know. Or, 150 for a t-shirt. How much oxygen were you having when you, like, went through this? <laughs> were you, like, was there a severe lack of oxygen? If, if something costs more, it's more. Cool. I am a statement. <laughs> yes, no. Yes, no. Maybe, maybe reasonable, reasonable or, or no. no. I am, I am a, a 
stutter. <laughs> yeah, I turned to Johnny Mumbles. <laughs> Is this uh, what do you think about this this uh, point though that people that like high fashion can make? If something costs more, it's more cool. Is that, is that a valid argument? So. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Does it mean anything to people? Sometimes, some people, some people know. I mean, I don't think something costs more makes it better though. Like, there's like stuff that like I like the way it looks that you could get from like Target. Mm. You know. Yeah. Some... Yeah. yeah, but the coolest thing at Target, there could be a million cool things at um, company. You know. I mean, there's definitely a lot of really cool uh, looking clothes out there that don't cost you an arm and a leg. I, I've personally been uh, like really into like Vans clothing recently. They always like have like the coolest t-shirts. You ever been to TJ Maxx? They're pretty bro? cheap too. I like TJ Maxx. Well, TJ Maxx hits. And Farmer Fleet goes crazy. Dude. <laughs> um, minimalism or maximalism? What's maximalism? <sighs> maximalism would be like super like um, bright clothes, like lots of patterns, I guess. Uh, I, like I think right, right in between. Right in between. It depends like, yeah, like, on like the a day. Good, a good balance of both. It good depends on the day, I think. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll just give you the the the, the thing. So break. like on a graphing calculator, you use this <laughs> to go to like an exponent. So this would be like the little the little like uh, um, number that like you're putting the the power to. So it'd be like small, and then this would be like big because it's like the the main thing, and not the um. What, you want me to laugh? <laughs> no. <Is that> <laughs> Funny, I Kyle. Told you, I told you this presentation's pretentious, dude. It's fucking hilarious. Dude, this guy had like a carbon monoxide leak in his house when he, when he made this presentation. It wasn't thinking right. Oh. <laughs> Alright. I like that. Yeah, I, I like those flame tees. We should all get one. I want the red, red no, I want the blue one. No, I think all the, the, the blue flames are hotter. Red pill or blue pill? Uh, I'm taking the blue pill on this one. I also want the blue pill. The blue pill. Okay, so what if people say that, um, you know, <sighs> with the high fashion, that it's art? Um, I guess. Art's interpretive, I guess. So. Yeah. It depends, though. Yeah. I mean, that would be a valid argument. I mean, honestly, to each their own. Uh, if someone wants to spend a lot of money on, I guess, high fashion, go for it. Uh, it's not really for me, but I think it, it definitely can be really cool. I think, peop I think most artists... <laughs> I don't know what I mean. You think most artists are like pretentious little nerds? <laughs> most <laughs> artists? Most artists. A lot of like modern day artists. Not like most artists, but like people who like wear high fashion, like tape a banana to the wall and be like, this is art. This is art. This is beautiful. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, maybe the medallas are kicking in. <laughs> maybe, maybe <laughs> Kyle's joke's me. just too funny with the math. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle threw a graphing calculator joke in here. <laughs> <laughs> can't believe you did that. Yeah, that's man. unbelievable. Okay, best grocery store or non-clothes store to get decent clothes from? Best grocery store? Yeah. Uh, Farm and Fleet. Uh, no, oh. like non-clothes store. Honestly, like oh. sometimes sometimes Costco has some decent stuff. The Kroger? Like, uh, they'll, they'll have like discounted Levi jeans and uh, some good flannels at Costco. They do. You're right. You're absolutely Costco right. Costco has sir. the the good flannels. At the at the at the King Super, uh, King Super now has a like deal of Carhartt. It's no like, way. Some King Supers do sell Carhartt. Yeah. Oh. I do think I do like Carhartt. I've gotten a lot of stuff at Target like the last few years. I feel like whenever I go to Target, I find something something I like. Target's got good cool. stuff, yeah. and they they they're cheap too. It's I'm just they they have like pretty good uh. Like, I mean, I could never buy anything from Target, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> so that, no, that, can, that couldn't be me. You can go for it, though. Yeah, you know? you can, that's all you, bud. I mean, but one thing I've noticed is uh, Target has like a lot of like uh, like minimalist clothing. Like yeah. a lot of it's like pretty like plain, but it's it's nice stuff. Like I, I get clothes from Target sometimes. It's like standard stuff. <laughs> yeah. They have good pants, good flannels, good tees. John Deere got that stuff. Really good. <laughs> Best grocery store to buy clothes at. <laughs> I like right. the Walmart graphic tees are funny. Okay, we have 15 seconds to answer. Okay. One. What's the question, bro? 
Best grocery store, not closed, store to buy decent clothes at reasonable or no? I am piece of art. What does this mean? <laughs> what does this mean? Delete this uh, line. What? <laughs> Come that wasn't even 15 seconds, dude. I was counting. Well, we already Come. answered the Come. question. Oh, oh, that, that was like 12 seconds, bro. But I don't know what I was on when I made this presentation. <laughs> lack of oxygen. Yeah, lack of oxygen. <laughs> not, were, not enough blood in your brain. The Medellas were drowning you, dude. You weren't even breathing. <laughs> Get a load of... Get a load yeah, of these cum see shoes. Margella's new cum shoes. Uh, That's all right. I had bad. Would you guys rock the cum shoes? I'd rock the cum. <laughs> <laughs> I would not rock. I could just get my own shoes and just, like, you know, squirt them with, like, a, uh, a hot glue gun. I mean, yeah, I mean, y- you could just make these instead of spending 700 bucks on them. All right, so, yeah, they're uh, $765 <laughs> if you want those. <laughs> what are they called? Leather Fusion Low Top Sneakers. Leather fusion. Parts of fusion of common shoes. <laughs> you you, you, could, you can make these for pretty cheap. They'd be nice like with, without like, all this like, gum on them, dude. <laughs> Honestly, you're right, Justin. You, you see the guys <laughs> just in the room making these shoes. You just need a, you need a black pair of shoes and like five of your closest friends. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. This is the best... It's the best birthday ever. <laughs> Alright, so then we're at the last slide. The credits are manual, so we have to grab the box to scroll. Oh, not again. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> do, do, do. Thank you for watching. What's a hot tub? <laughs> you just ended the podcast. Restart to go. Alternate endings. <laughs> uh, that was a good one. That was a good one. All right. Goofy Thanks action. everyone for watching. Uh, that one was a little bit, a uh, little bit off the wall, but you know, gotta try different stuff. Thanks everyone for coming to Motel Hot Tub. We appreciate your time, and uh, we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. Good night. Love you.